Jesus says, except a man be born again, he cannot see or enter the kingdom of God. Are you born again today? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? This is the most important thing you could ever hear today. This is the most important thing you will hear your entire life is how to have peace with your Maker, how to have peace with God. And that is through the Lord Jesus Christ. The most loving thing I could tell you, as harsh as it is, as it is, is that right now, apart from Christ, you're on the path to destruction that leads to hellfire forever. And the only remedy for you today is Christ crucified, risen from the dead, to turn to Him today for the salvation of your very soul. And he that believes on the Son has everlasting life. But he that does not believe the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God remains on him, the Bible says. Understand that he's slow to anger. He's plenteous in mercy. As a father pities his children, so the Lord pities those that fear him. Oh, but understand this. God will bring recompense upon the ungodly. Turn to the Savior today. The Bible says all have sinned and come short of the glory of of God that every one of us is born into this category every one of us is born under sin born under the curse of God's law written on your heart today and we know right from wrong now, where did morality come from it didn't come from evolution folks God has written his law on your heart today you know right from wrong you know it's wrong to lie and steal curse your father and mother because God has made it plain to you through your conscience today. And every man is in bondage to their conscience, whether they like it or not. That little voice that tells you right from wrong, that you're without excuse on the day of judgment, when you stand before him, guilty as charged, just like anybody else, and even more without excuse, are rejecting the remedy today, if that's your case. But you can have mercy today to come into the arms of Jesus, to have forgiveness of sins, peace with God, everlasting life. For the streets are of gold. And there is no sorrow, no death, nor famine, nor any suffering like this sin-cursed world. That the only hell a Christian will ever know is this life. But this is the only heaven the ungodly will ever know. Because when they die in their sin, they go to a most horrific place, the Bible says. A place of weeping and gnashing of teeth where the fire is never quenched and a worm never dies. What a fearful thing, folks. Turn to the Savior today. May you find mercy and forgiveness of sins through the death, burial, and resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we're going to preach the full counsel of God to you today. We're not going to tell you what natural man wants to hear. Just tell me what I want to hear. Tell me God loves me. He, he, he's got a wonderful plan for my life and I can live like a child of the devil and he'll accept me. Oh, no, no, folks. We're going to tell you what the Bible says today. And if you're not in Christ today, you're at enmity with God. If you're walking in sin, you're on the path to destruction, that you must be born again to have any peace with God. As the Bible says, therefore being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. That the only way you can have peace with God is through the Lord Jesus Christ. Do you have peace with God today? Oh, we got peace. The only question that concern your soul today, folks, is are you right with God? And I said it once and I'll say it again. How many people right now, sadly, are on their deathbed, in a hospital bed, dying from some sickness or disease? Are they ready to meet God? Are they ready to stand before the one who gave them their very life? as they take their last breath and pass forth into eternity forever. Oh, folks, may your case be that you found mercy and repented and believed on the only begotten Son of God for the salvation of your soul. As the Bible says, God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world. That's not why Christ came. He didn't come to condemn the world. He came to save his people from their sin. God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. The Bible says, He that believes on him is not condemned, but he that believes not is condemned already because he's not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. He says, This is the condemnation. The very words of Jesus written in red, John chapter 3, he says, This is the condemnation, that light has come into the world, but men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. For everyone that does evil hates the light 
Neither comes to the light, lest their deeds should be reproved. But he that does truth comes to the light, that their deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought and done in God. You see, it's not a fearful thing to die as a Christian, to die in Christ, but it is a most horrific, fearful thing to die outside a covenant with God as you face Him, not as your Savior, not as your loving Father, who led you from birth to death, oh, but you meet Him as an angry judge of whom you have offended the crimes against Him on your account. You need the only mediator between God and men, and just like a picture in the courtroom, the criminal doesn't talk for himself, the lawyer does. And Christ is the only mediator between us and the judge of all life, the God and maker of heaven and earth, that you need this Christ, that you need him to wash away your sin, that he took the full penalty that our sin deserves. And when you repent to believe on him, you may have everlasting life. Glory to God in Jesus' name. See, what a beautiful day to worship God. Are you worshiping God today? He says, this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. But many are just walking in sin. They're glad in their sin. They're serving sin. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life, which has consequences, folks. And that's why we're here today to warn you because nobody else will. Nobody else will tell the sinner what they don't want to hear. They'll be offended or hate you or whatever means it may be. The most loving thing I could tell you today is that if you're not in Christ, if you died right now in this condition, you'd wake up in hell forever. That's the most loving thing I could tell you today, so that you might cling to the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, and have mercy and forgiveness of sins. At the great white throne judgment, when we stand before God, every one of us will be without excuse. Now you've heard the word today. You've heard the gospel. You've heard what you need to do. Today, God puts before you life or death. What will you choose? Turn to the Savior today. Glory to God in Jesus' name. The Bible says God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them, but has committed unto his people the message and word of reconciliation. That our message for you today is not condemnation. It may sound that way to those who are still blinded in their sins, but this is a message of reconciliation to be restored to God through covenant, through the Lord Jesus Christ, the blood of the everlasting covenant of the Lord Jesus Christ, the one who shed his holy blood on the cross of Calvary over 2,000 years ago to atone for the sin of the world. This is the most glorious thing you could ever hear today, but most, most aren't concerned. Most could care less. That's the human race. We're indifferent. We're at enmity with God. Give me everything but God. Even though he gave you your very life and everything that you have, the power to get well, the power to, to do everything that you do. Give glory to your maker today. Give glory to him. Because one day your knee will bow to your maker and you will answer for everything you've done. The Lord Jesus Christ came into the world for this very thing, to atone for your sin, to take the full wrath of the cup of the Almighty, the full penalty that your sin deserves, that you might have peace with God. Turn to the Lord Jesus Christ today to have peace with God. The Lord Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, and no person comes unto the Father except through him. Understand that, folks, that you can't get to God by your own good works. God requires perfection. God requires perfect obedience to every jot and tittle that is written in his law given to man and no human being on the face of the earth from the beginning of time to the end is capable of such standards. But that's why Christ came to fulfill the law of God for us, that his life of obedience will be imputed to your account where God can look upon you as holy and blameless before his sight, having done no wrong because of what Christ did. I'll say it again because it is most glorious. This is the most glorious thing you could hear today. This is the most glorious thing that could enter your ears is how to be made right with God. But we're so concerned now. We're so concerned with this life. What am I going to do today? Folks, have you given 
uh, consideration of where you're going to go when you die. Where will you go when you die? Where will you spend eternity? Turn that shit down. That is the only thing that should concern your soul today is you need Jesus. You need this Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God. God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believes on him is not condemned. But he that believes not is condemned already. Understand that, folks. Fear God and keep his commandments, the Bible says. For God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. Everything we've done has already been written in heaven. As the Bible says, at the great white throne judgment, God shall open up the books. The books will be opened. And another book will be opened, which is the book of life. And the dead will be judged out of those things which are written in the books according to their works. The very end of time, a most sobering day. There's not going to be any smiles at the great white throne judgment. It's not going to be any amens. It's going to be a most sobering environment as every human being stands before Almighty God to answer for the deeds done in the body according to that which they have done, whether it be good or whether it be evil. Make sure you're right with God today, folks. You don't know the day nor hour God's going to require your life. 150,000 people die every day. You could die on your way home today. Are you right with God? Are you ready for such an event? Are you ready to take your last breath and stand before God? It's a serious thing. It's a sobering thing. And since it's a sobering thing, we ought to use sobering vocabulary. And if you die apart from this Christ, you'll wake up in hell forever. As the Bible says, the wicked shall be turned into hell and all the nations that forget God. What a nation America that has forgotten God. We have the audacity to put God bless America on our money. Are you kidding me? The audacity. And God just laughs. What an ignorant nation. 70 million murdered unborn children in the womb since the 70s. And the Bible says God hates the hands that shed innocent blood. The blood, the innocent blood on this country. The innocent blood. We have the audacity to say God bless America. Understand when the Lord Jesus Christ comes again, there's not going to be any amends. It's not going to be, oh, hey, buddy, I'm glad you died for me. Oh, no, 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 folks. He's coming with war, the Bible says, to judge the nations. He's coming again in flaming fire, the Bible says, to take vengeance upon all those who do not know God, upon all those who do not obey the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. And it says they shall be punished with an everlasting destruction for the presence of the Lord and for the glory of his power. You are going to stand before the King of Kings and Lord of Lords and answer for everything you've done. You see, folks, it's a sobering thing. There's not going to be any laughter at the judgment seat. There's not going to be any mockery at the judgment seat that you would have wished you went back to the day you heard the gospel if you die in your sins. Turn to the Lord Jesus Christ today that you might have peace with God, folks. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God to our Lord Jesus Christ, the only mediator between God and man. The only way we can have peace with God is through the only begotten Son of God, the Lord Jesus Christ. Turn to the Savior today, folks, while you have breath in your lungs. I get it. And we're so concerned about today. What, how am I going to please myself today? Oh, folks, that's why you need a new nature. That we don't naturally love obeying God and doing what He commands. That's why you need to be born again. To be given a new heart. To take away that heart of stone that every one of us is born with. That's that enmity with God. And He gives you a heart of flesh to love and walk in His ways. To love what He loves and hate what He hates. It's called being born again of the life of the precious Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to God in Jesus' name. The Bible says there's no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. And that is the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the door. He is the only way to God. He is the image and revelation of God the Father in heaven. That the Lord Jesus Christ, it is written of him, he is the revelation of God the Father in heaven. You want to know who God is? Look to Christ. 
Read what is written in the Gospels of Holy Writ. Understand that, folks. You see, Allah is the devil. Understand that. And there's only one God, one meter between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. The only way you can come to God is through Christ. He's the only hope for the sinner. This is the only hope that there is. The only hope that there is is the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the only Savior of men. And it's not a religious cult that professes you must do this or that to be saved. It's not a works-based salvation. It's not denying the things in the Bible and changing it as we would like it to be to fit what we want. No, we go by Holy Writ, the inspired Word of God given to us through the Holy Ghost. That He is God in three persons. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, no matter what wicked cult wants to tell you otherwise, He's God in three persons. And the only way you can be saved is the Lord Jesus Christ, that there is a literal hell that Jesus spoke, of, spoke about out of His own very mouth. That He says, it is a place of weeping and gnashing of teeth, where the fire is never quenched and the worm never dies. Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Are your sins blotted out in the eyes of God today? That the only way that can happen is to come to Christ to be saved, to turn from your evil ways, to turn to the only Savior of men, the Lord Jesus Christ, who gave himself for ransom for all to be testified in due time. And we have been under the ministry of reconciliation for over 2,000 years. And when will God no longer strive with humanity? Only God knows. And one day, folks, he's going to crack the sky. And he's coming with great power and great glory to judge the nations. To judge those outside of covenant with him. You must be born again to have peace with God. You must be born again. Turn to Christ to be saved. There's no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved, and that is the Lord Jesus Christ. Turn from your evil ways. Turn to the Savior today, the only begotten Son of God. And the Bible says, God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world, but the world through Him might be saved. The question for you today is, are you saved? Are you right with God? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Christ was once offered to bear the sins of many. It's a one-time offering. For by one offering, He has perfected forever them that are sanctified. It is a forever settled in heaven, the way of salvation, the one-time offering of the Lord Jesus Christ. And turn to the Savior today and live. The Lord Jesus, written in His Word, He says, Look unto me and be ye saved, all the ends of the earth. For I am God and there is none else. He is the only Savior of men. But the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly loves, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in the present world, looking for the blessed hope and the glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. Have you received this Jesus? Who is Jesus to you today? Is he your judge or your Savior? Understand this, folks. Understand that He is the only Savior of men, but He's also the judge of all the earth. Make sure you're right with God before that great and dreadful day when God shall lay before Him both small and great, rich and poor, small and high, to answer for the deeds done in the body according to that which we had done, whether it be good or whether it be evil. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. That's why every human being dies is because of sin. Not because of disease, not because of a car accident. We die because of sin. That's the ultimate reason. We die because of sin. Without sin, there is no death. But every man dies because of their own personal sin. That God told Adam and Eve, the day you eat of the fruit thereof, you shall surely die. And sin and death enter into the world. And death through sin, and so death passed upon all men, because all have sinned. All have sinned and come short to the glory of God. And every one of us is in this category. Every one of us has sinned against a holy God. 
The Bible says all have sinned and come short to the glory of God. Not some, not many, not most. When all have sinned, they come short to the glory of God. But we are justified, made right with God by the death, burial, and resurrection of, the, of His Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, when we repent to believe on Him. Are you right with God today, folks? You don't know the day nor hour God's going to require your soul. You don't know when God's going to come and visit you with death. Make sure you're right with God before that day. It don't matter how old you are, how young you are, death could come at any moment. Ain't that the truth? No matter how good you feel now, how many people die in their 20s? How many people die in their teens, sadly? Make sure you're right with God, folks. It's a serious thing. It's the most serious, the most loving thing I could tell you today is that you're on the path to destruction that leads to hellfire forever apart from Christ Jesus. That you need Him to renew you on the inside, to take away that heart of stone.